Microsoft Loop caused quite a stir at Microsoft Ignite 2021. The demonstration videos were packed with information and clues as to what's coming. Seriously, it was like watching a Marvel trailer full of Easter eggs. I'm going to slow down and highlight six items on the Microsoft Loop roadmap to release. It's not an official roadmap, it's a summary of what's coming soon on the roadmap to releasing Microsoft Loop. No dates have been given about when these Loop experiences will be available. Only live components in Microsoft Teams chat are available today for people in public preview. The first experience of Microsoft Loop is within Microsoft Teams chat. Add a Loop component to a chat, a group chat, or a meeting chat. This is available today in Teams public preview and standard release starting in mid-November 2021. Soonish. Now this is your best place to start getting familiar with collaborating using Loop components and Loop pages. Create lists, tables, paragraphs, and more together with others in the chat. It's so much more functional than just taking and writing notes in meeting chat. Watch my previous video to learn more about getting an early start. Now don't underestimate the potential of loops in this first experience of Microsoft Teams chat. They're surprisingly simple in appearance, but as I begin to use them in public preview, I can create quite powerful productive combos that keep my people in the loop. Remember, creating a new loop component will create a fluid page in your OneDrive and eventually in the Teams channel. I expect loop pages will eventually be able to be shared internally and externally, like any other file in OneDrive and SharePoint, depending on your organization's external sharing policy and configuration. Loops won't be available yet for guests in your chats and meetings. It isn't quite clear today how guests can contribute to a loop in a meeting or a chat. Loops are currently stored in OneDrive for chats and private meetings. A guest doesn't have a OneDrive, so won't be able to create a loop, but eventually they may be able to contribute to a loop created by someone from your organization. Loops aren't available in team channel conversations or channel meetings in public preview. But once loop pages are supported in SharePoint sites, channel conversations and channel meetings surely will be supported. Loop components have barely arrived and now new components are already being announced. We haven't yet had time to get used to these new atomic blocks of productivity and now new atoms are being discovered. Be prepared to see rapid releases of loop components. Components are lightweight and extremely fast at syncing. New components will meet the needs to start collaborating quickly in simple scenarios. At Microsoft Build 2022, it's expected that they will reveal how to create custom components. At any rate, next off the component block are voting tables and status trackers. The voting table creates a simple place to list and discuss ideas together. A table with columns for ideas, bullet points of pros and cons for the idea, and a voting column. Click on an idea and cast your vote. Decisions are made simply. See who has voted on that idea too. Discuss the choices made in depth. Now I do hope that there is an option to hide seeing who voted for each idea. Just for privacy and sometimes there's decision making scenarios like casting anonymous ballots. A status tracker table helps your team gather information about the project status. List milestones and the owners that are responsible for them. Signal the status of the milestone and the due date. Add a list of blockers to resolve and get help from other team members. This isn't intended to replace more substantial task and project management tools. However, Status Tracker may integrate with Planner or To Do in the future. Now, I think this next loop integration provides the most impact, lowering the friction to capturing meeting notes and actions while syncing to full applications like Planner and To Do. Use loop components in a meeting invite to include agenda and meeting notes. Let's look at that from the perspective of a meeting lifecycle. When organizing a meeting, add an agenda, attendees, list of tasks for attendees to prepare for the meeting and bring their best productive selves. Add related files and links to the resources. Using the agenda loop component, set an agenda together. Let people contribute to that agenda. Everyone is kept up to date as the agenda is kept in sync. For meeting notes, the loop component and OneNote work together. Keep everyone on the same page. Attach the meeting agenda and the notes to the invite 
And this means that they are easy to find and contribute to. They're all listed there in the meeting assets. Once the meeting has started, meeting notes can be opened and attendees can contribute to the shared notes right within the meeting. Use the meeting notes tab in the meeting window or open OneNote for a separate window from the meeting. Content stays in sync. Work through the agenda with a list of the items, speaker and time. Tick the items as they get completed. Capture follow-up tasks that sync together with planner and to-do. I mean, that is huge. At best, OneNote could sync tasks with Outlook and you could see them in to-do. After the meeting, access the meeting notes from your team's calendar or from OneNote or from Outlook. Recall what was said. Read the notes alongside a meeting recording. Use the meeting transcript if you want to, to update the notes and things that you might have missed. Review the lightweight follow-up task list for a quick reference, or open the tasks assigned to you in Planner and To Do. Look, I feel that this experience has probably got a lot of moving components and parts. It touches a lot of apps. So it might take some time to release. Outlook on the web, OneNote on the web, Teams meetings, they'll all need to become loop aware. When Outlook becomes loop aware, it shouldn't be too long before we can do this. Loops will also be available in our long time favorite communication tool, email. Come into Outlook on the web, paste a link to a loop directly in the email. The loop is live and ready to contribute to within the email. Now we don't know when it might arrive in Outlook for on the desktop or mobile, but you can be sure it'll eventually be there. We saw earlier in the year that the new Microsoft Whiteboard would also receive Microsoft Loop Component Magic. Copy a link to a Loop component and paste it into the Whiteboard. Team members can contribute to the Whiteboard while they also draw, use sticky notes and paste pictures. Whiteboard lets contributors draw with digital ink. This isn't something we've seen in the Loop demonstrations to date. So Loops in the Whiteboard are probably the best of both worlds co-author tables, lists and paragraphs, alongside sticky notes and drawing. But did you notice in the loop demos that part where the whiteboard was linked in a loop page? Contributed mouse pointers were floating around everywhere freely on the page nearby. And then when someone clicked the whiteboard link, all the cursors came together and followed the leader into the whiteboard. Now that made me think of other whiteboard products that let the leader call others together. Now that would be really handy, working on a loop page together, especially when presenting from a loop page, calling everyone together to watch you as you take them through the page. Again, we don't know when loops will come to Whiteboard, but they are definitely on the roadmap. And that leaves the big milestone that everyone wants to know. When will Microsoft Loop app be available? Like Loop Components and Teams Chat, I expect the Loop app will be available in public preview first, but we still don't know when. Sometime next year, first half, second half, let's see what comes out. That's what's coming to Microsoft Loop on the roadmap to release. I'll keep you updated as more information becomes publicly available. I can't wait to use it within all the experiences I've mentioned, but I will have to wait with you, enthusiastically, with anticipation.